one of the oldest foods known to humans and possibly the first cereal grain to be used, rightfully called a health food. But to get the optimal benefits from millets, we should prepare them in a way that our bodies can absorb it. Welcome to Water Gravy. If you like my videos, please support by sharing and subscribing. What is the right kind of millet that you should buy and what is the correct way of preparing it? Here I will be showing the preparation for two types of millets, raw and parboiled varieties of little millet and kodo millet. These are among the five positive millets which help to cleanse the organs. Take one cup of little millet raw rice unpolished. Little millet is smaller and lighter in color compared to other millets. In all millets, the husk is the non-edible portion and will be removed. Take one cup of little millet parboiled rice. The grains of the parboiled rice are more translucent and glass-like. Wash in water. Polished variety of millets, in addition to de-husking, the outer coat gets removed too. Add two cups of water to the washed little millet raw rice. Allow it to soak for six to eight hours. The fiber of the millet is present in concentric circles. So it has to be soaked for a minimum of six hours so that the inner fiber gets soaked properly. Add two and quarter cups of water to the washed little millet parboiled rice. Parboiled rice needs more water for cooking, so I'm adding the extra one fourth cup. Allow it to soak for six to eight hours. Take one cup of kodo millet raw unpolished rice. Each millet is of a different color, but when polishing is done, all varieties of millets look the same and when polished, millets lose their fiber content and nutrition. Wash in water. Take one cup of kodo millet parboiled rice. You can see that the grains have a glassy appearance. Wash in water. Add two and a half cups of water to the washed kodo millet raw rice and allow it to soak for six to eight hours. The color of kodo millet is usually dark brown or reddish pink. How do you identify if the millet is of good quality? Each grain will have something called an eye, which is a black spot which is present in the grain. In few grains, it might be lost during processing, but most grains will have. Add two and three fourth cups of water to the washed kodo millet parboiled rice. Again, another quarter cup extra for parboiled rice. Allow it to soak for six to eight hours. To cook the little millet rice, place two clay pots on a stove. To one pot, add the soaked water from the little millet raw rice. To the other clay pot, add the soaked water from the little millet parboiled rice. The soaked millet water has water soluble vitamins and minerals, so it should not be thrown away. Add half a teaspoon of any cold pressed oil. Oil is added so that the grains remain separate. Let us wait for the water to boil. Add the samai parboiled rice. Reduce the flame and close with the lid. Now add the little millet raw rice. Little millet is the easiest to digest among all the millets. Close with the lid and reduce the flame. Open and stir in between. Cook until the water is almost absorbed. If a little bit of water is left, that is fine. This water will get absorbed when we allow the cooked rice to rest. Little millets are smaller in size, so they cook faster than rice and other millets. Little millet is a balanced grain in terms of carbohydrates, protein, vitamins and minerals. Switch off the stove. Let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Now to cook the kodo millet rice, the procedure is similar to the cooking of little millet rice. Place two pots on the stove. Switch on the flame. To one pot, add the soaked water from the kodo millet raw rice. To the other clay pot, add the soaked water from kodo millet parboiled rice. Add half a teaspoon of oil. Parboiling makes the millets easy and convenient to cook. 
It reduces the stickiness of the rice and yields fluffy and separate kernels once cooked. Allow the water to boil. When the water starts boiling, add the kodo millet parboiled rice. When parboiled, the grains become tough and resistant to breakage during milling. Close with the lid. Reduce the flame. Open and stir in between. Cook until the water is almost absorbed. Switch off the stove. Let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. The water has started boiling. Add the kodo millet raw rice. In unpolished millets, the outer layer or the lignans are intact. The lignans have maximum medicinal properties and help in treating cancer and all brain-related disorders. These lignans are lost in the polished variety. Close with the lid, reduce the flame, open and stir in between. Cook until the water is almost absorbed. Switch off the stove. Let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. After 5 to 10 minutes, open the lid and fluff up the rice using a spoon. Break up any grains that have clumped together. You can see that the grains are well cooked. The raw rice after cooking is slightly sticky and softer as compared to the boiled rice. The grains of the boiled millet rice are more separated and slightly bigger. Now the millet rice is ready to be served. Have it like how you would have normal rice with sambar, rasam, dal or any gravy. Or you can make any type of mixed rice varieties using this rice. Little Millet helps in own healing and helps treat all reproductive problems, helps maintain postmenopausal health and in regularizing menstrual cycle in women. Kodo Millet helps treat all blood-related issues, kidney problems, helps in reducing cholesterol, blood pressure and aids in weight loss. It is excellent for strengthening the nervous system. All millets are high in fiber with a low glycemic index and are a boon to anyone wanting to lose weight or to control blood sugar. Would love to hear from you. Do drop your comments below. If you have already subscribed, please press the bell icon to get notifications for new videos. Join me on Saturday for another interesting recipe.